Hey, stupid, you're on. Hello, friends, and welcome to Wally's Weather Wisdom. It looks like you caught me in the middle of a daydream. Can you guess what I was daydreaming of? That's right, the weather. I was thinking about all the things I'm going to do on this bright, sunny, mid to low 80s day with a 10% chance of rain and 30% humidity. What about you, Schmorpy? You bet, Wally! Wanna sing the sunny song? I sure do, Schmorpy. I love sunny days like this day. I love sunny days like this day. Well, hello, young man. Would you like to come under my umbrella? Oh, come on now, don't be shy. I don't bite. You said it was supposed to be sunny. You lied to me. Now that's not true. Hey! You see it? Oh, hold on. Oh, oh. Don't talk to my son, you creep! Dad always said the sun shone out of your butt. It's a shame you couldn't, you know, use it on a day like today. Do you trust Weatherman? Who? Oh, right. You mean the people that used to go on TV and pretend they knew the future, right? It's a highly scientific process. Do you want to know what I use? I use this. Everybody's got an encyclopedia in their back pocket and they feel like experts for using it. Face it, Wally, you've spent the last six years doing what Elmo's World accomplished in a three-minute segment. Kids know what the sun is. They want to know when they can see it. You know, I was assaulted today for trying to get a kid under my umbrella. <laughs> Why would you do that? Well, because it was cold and raining. I was trying to help him. What was I supposed to do? Leave him alone? As far as parents are concerned, anyone over the age of 22 is a pedophile. Hey, do you hear that? What? Sounds like the cynicism snake is going to bite you. The only way to scare him off is by believing in good. You're naive, Wally. Are kids naive for believing that there's a little good in everyone? Yes, they are. That's what makes them children. At some point, all kids need to realize that their parents lie, Bill Cosby isn't real, and that Santa Claus is a rapist. It's part of growing up. Did you mean to say that Bill Cosby- No, you're focusing on the wrong thing. Listen to me, Wally. This is a different world than the one you and I grew up in. We're more careful now, and people can't be trusted with kids or furniture or facts. You're a people. Yeah, but you know me. Well then let's get to know people. I'm just trying to warn you. We're never going back to the days where people don't lock their doors. So if you leave yours open, someone will come in and eat you in your sleep. I'm just trying to protect you and the kids you're lying to. I'm not lying to anyone. You say that the sun will always shine, but... I mean, look outside, Wally. What do you see? We all live in these bubbles now. Because if everyone thinks that there's no one to depend on, and that there's nothing to believe in, of course we're going to be lonely. I don't want to live in a bubble all by myself. No one should. So let's pop them. You have the opportunity to prepare these kids for the world as it really is. So you're deceiving them by showing it as you'd like it to be. So go ahead and pop those bubbles, but be prepared to get soap in your eyes. Well, it's been nice chatting but there's a hold on my account in the library, so I have to get going. See you. Bye. Hello, friends. I want to show you something. This is Schmorpy. He's a puppet that I use to tell you about the weather. He doesn't talk on his own. I do. Hi, everyone! See? He didn't move. Now you know. But we don't have to live in a world where puppets are just felt and buttons. They can be more than that, if we're willing to believe in them. Isn't that right, Schmorpy? Oh yeah, Wally! See, I like to believe in Schmorpy because he gives me happiness and hope. Sometimes, we can't see the sun, kids. It could be hidden behind days and weeks of gloom and rain and darkness. But trust me when I tell you that no matter what, it's still there. <laughs>